still by the tweed and uh, considering that this, this walk for water, this project is for pump aid. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing how much water I've encountered already, even if it's come in the form of uh, huge drifts of snow. But um, it's not often you see something like this. This, it says there it's an every modern convenience, this was a pump. This was a pump in the, uh, in the 1800s. And if we look in here, we'll see a mechanism that was operated by mules or donkeys being driven round and round in circles. And uh, that mechanism there uh, pumped the water up to the house, which is uh, over that ridge there. Can't see it. Probably just make out a chimney pot there. That's the, uh, that's the house. Uh, so they, they built this pump. I think there's a date here. Uh, in the, in the mid-1800s, it was the Elliott family that built the pump to bring water to the house. So definitely, yeah, more convenient than, as it says here, sending a maid down with a bucket. So yeah, the mules and the donkeys trudged around that room. And uh, this stone part here, um, no, not this part here, the part the other side of, uh, of that chamber there was the, uh, was the actual pump itself, or the ram as it was called in the small chamber next door. So apparently this family, they were, uh, they were pretty high tech. They, uh, they made other improvements and uh, they, they decorated the grotto for the spring. They built a small gas works a little further downstream and an ice house upstream. So uh, they had running water, frozen food and gas lights, all in the mid 1800s. So very high tech. What was the name of the house? The house was called Benrig House. So, uh, so there we go. Just thought that was quite interesting given that uh, pump aid in 2010 are having to work as hard as they are to, uh, to encourage people to donate money so that we can provide clean water for, uh, for some of the 1.1 billion that still don't have access to it. Back in the 1800s they figured out a way of using donkeys to help them get clean water and uh, in 2010, 210 years later, we're still having to build very low-tech pumps really. The elephant pump, it's a great pump but it's low-tech, just to try and give people some clean water. Ah, clean water, so much water here. So yeah, if you're following this and you haven't donated yet, check out the website walkingforwater.eu championing the work that Pompeii are doing in Sub-Saharan Africa.